Okay, so this is where I'm going to be spending a lot of my time over the next little while. Not like I don't already live in my kitchen, but apparently we're going to be spending extra time at home. Anyway, I figure if there's one way that I can help all of you, it's by sharing some inspiration for using up what you have in your fridge, in your pantry, in your cupboards. And we've all got different ingredients, of course, but I think I have a lot of the staples that a lot of Ontario Canadian home cooks have. And so I'm just going to start cooking and hopefully I can bring a little bit of amusement to your life. And if you have any questions, just ask away, ask in the comments, send me a DM. Um, you know, if I don't have something that you have and you want to cook, I don't mind answering questions. So feel free to shoot them my way. And if there's one way that we can get over boredom and fear, it's with some good food and good company. And so I hope that I can bring a little bit of joy to this otherwise gloomy time and let's make something delicious together. Okay, it's St. Patrick's Day. So we're gonna start with something green. Actually, I want a beer. Is that weird? It's, it's like not even noon. You know what? I don't care. This is my kitchen and it's St. Patrick's Day and I'm stuck inside and it's gloomy. So, Echo, play O Maggie. Okay. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Echo, turn the volume down. So, simple, simple, simple. I have this broccoli in the fridge and I'm going to show you why I always, always, always grill or broil broccoli. I don't steam it, I don't boil it, um, and that's because it caramelizes really well and takes on better flavor. So all you want to do is, I want to use a vegetable peeler to peel the hard exterior off of the stock, like this, pretty leaf. I'm just gonna leave that because that's totally edible and it's pretty. Okay. Oh man, well, that's that. <laughs> okay, when it comes to broccoli, never cut through the floret, okay? Because this literally becomes like a broccoli blizzard. So I always tell people to start at the bottom of the stalk. Okay, so in this case, we're just gonna go half all the way up to about here, and then just pull apart. And you see, nothing falls off and you get these really pretty looking pieces. Now, I'm just gonna pull these apart into slightly smaller pieces. So, well, actually that's probably, that's probably okay. Let's cut this one in half. So you have these nice big pieces. We're gonna roast them whole. This is kind of like a knife and fork vegetable side dish. And pull. These pieces are about all the same size. So I have six, six nice pieces. So really this could be like a side dish for seven and friends. It could be a side dish for like four people, even six people if you have lots of things. Now, my dear friend, the oversized sheet pan. I love this thing because you never have to worry about crowding. Okay. A little bit of parchment paper. The other thing I love about these oversized sheet pans is this parchment paper from Costco, it fits perfectly inside. Mm -hmm. Oil from one of my many canceled cooking segments on television, thanks to this virus. That's okay, we're gonna make use of it all. Oh, I'm going to arrange these on the sheet pan, give them room. I'm just gonna do a little bit of drizzle drizzle with oil. You can use any oil you like. You can use extra virgin olive oil. In this case, I'm using a little bit of canola oil because that's what I had. And I'm trying to use it up. So just don't worry if it gets on the parchment. We're going to use our hands to sort of move that around. A little bit of sodium reduced soy sauce. Just get a little bit on the florets and again, you can see this is all over the sheet pan. So you might be like, what the heck? You can do this in a bowl too if you want, but I just like to not make extra dishes. As you can see, I'm a messy cook. So now I go to town and I just, I use my hands that I've washed 10 times already today. So why not make use of that and soak it all up. These are like sponges. Soak it up, move them around, get it nicely coated. 
And you don't even have to add salt because with the soy sauce, you're adding seasoning, you're adding flavor, you're adding umami, and you're adding saltiness. Now we're just gonna broil them for about eight minutes, eight to 10 minutes. Everyone's oven's different, keep a watchful eye. If your oven has a crazy broiler, don't use parchment paper. My oven is mediocre, so it's fine. I also had half a red onion, so I'm just gonna throw that on there. Broiled onion and broccoli are friends. Just like move it around on whatever soy sauce is still on the pan. Yeah, that looks good. So these have been in the oven for about eight minutes, just on broil, middle rack. And you can see, well, I don't know if you can see it, but they get really nice color. And the onions have roasted up and it took really no time at all. No special equipment. And now we're just going to plate it up. And I like a little bit of heat, so just a little, whoops, Christmas. A little bit of sriracha right over top. Just some sesame seeds. This is optional, you don't need them. They add a nice crunch, they look pretty. Okay, it's not very Irish, but it's green nonetheless. It's beautiful, it's delicious, and what a way to enjoy St. Patrick's Day. Stay healthy, everyone.